Hey yo, what's up guys? Your boy Benzke here back at it again with a delicious video. And today we're gonna be watching another delicious video. But with all that being said though, today we're watching a video by Sin I forgot I don't I don't know how to say his name. Sensei. I seen this on my for you page. I, well, not for you page, god damn it, well stop mixing TikTok with YouTube. My recommended section. There you go. <laughs> That's how you know I've been watching too much TikTok. But of course today we're gonna be watching a video called called Blue Lock, A Hood Football Experience. Now, if you want to go watch the video yourself, we're going to be a link in the description below because obviously there are going to be certain parts that I cut out of the video so that I don't end up in trouble with YouTube. But of course, with all that being said though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I'm going to try to enjoy this as always. And let's hop straight into it. Everybody calm down real quick after I ask a question. How many of y'all in the comment section have ever played soccer before? There we go. They're called football. Yeah, stop calling it soccer, yo. It's football. Yo, my fault, my fault, yo. Nah, there we go. All jokes aside, though, how many of y'all have ever played football? Now, as somebody that's from the streets, I'm going to be real with y'all. We did play it, but we just called it kickball. Now, I know kickball is a whole different game. But right. That's what we called it, yo. We made makeshift goals up, and we had the fat kid always be the goalie because it was hard to get past them anyway. But after that, I really never touched football. Oh, again. no, we, we never called it. I never read articles about it, watched it. Uh, I'm just going to. Until they dropped Kiriko no football, the anime. Because Blue Okay, forewarning. I never watched the anime Blue Lock. I never did. But... If you guys want me to get my honest opinion on this anime, the only thing I could tell you is that the only time I ever seen this anime is when like it was fan edits where people were just going crazy over the characters and shit. Like, yo, this dude this Sigma male. This shit is top tier. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and of course, what it all started it was the World Cup shit. So, yeah, that's that's how I know about bottom. But hey, same same. Like, don't don't be mad at me. You know, I'm just. I'm just that dude. All right, I don't, I don't watch a lot of anime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'll watch more. Okay, I promise. Blue Lock is literally Kiriko basketball, but it's football. This shit is that gas. I don't know what you're doing right now. You want to wear rock? You wear Patrick at? Because if you ain't seen Blue Lock, then you missing out. I mean, these dudes are demons. I know you probably don't believe me because it's a sports anime and most of those shits are trash. But, 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 but I'm telling you, give it a try. Because this main character right here, Izuki, watching him change has been like watching my own son grow up. Because this dude used to be a bitch. And now he is <laughs> I'm about to say, bro, if you don't stop being a bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, bro, bro, do need to stop being a bitch. For demon. Now, I know y'all seen the first video I dropped that Blue Lock is football for the streets. That was facts. Never watched that. I will watch that later. But that only covered the first half of the season. Now, the episodes for the second half of the season are starting to come out, and we are at the climax now. We are at the culmination where they are about to go against the number one, two, and three ranked players and the whole Blue Lot organization. But we're jumping ahead. We're jumping ahead. Let's talk about the second selection. So after we go through this whole little training montage of these dumbass AI goalies and teammates that Isagi has to maneuver through, nobody cares about that. We get to a room where Isagi has to decide who is going to be on his team. It's three men team. And once you form this three-man team, you go against the other three-man team. And if you beat them, you take one of their players. So on, so forth, etc. I hope y'all are keeping up. Because this uh, next part hey, is I'm crazy. Trying. Of course this man Isaki is going to choose Bachira to be on his team. Because you know him and Bachira are butt buddies. I mean, him and Bachira are like, you know, Naruto, Sasuke, Goku, Vegeta, Zoro, Luffy. You know what I'm saying? They like August Alcina and his boyfriend. You feel me? Like they... Wait, wait, hold on, what? I heard a boyfriend in there. Wait, what did he just say? Did he just uh, August and... Oh, my God. Yo, is August out here giving up the bussy, bro? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Let's be honest. We all should have seen this coming. I'm just playing. Let me stop before I get targeted really on that they on that butt buddy stuff i'm just saying 
but I was not expecting the GOAT Tanaki to do this to Rio. Yo, Isaki, what's good, gang? Yo, Bacho, what's up, bitch ass boy? Hey, listen, yo, I'm just saying, uh, y'all think it'd be cool if I got on your team? Yo, Sean, I don't know about this, Sean. This man Naki don't look like he's gonna be good on our team. Uh, I don't really know if we can put you on our team, bro, because you with Rio and, you know, I got Bachiro with me. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me get this straight. If I don't have Rio with me, I could join your team? I mean, yeah, technically. Right, I... you fine. Fuck that nigga Rio. What? Yo, what you mean, fuck me, yo? Well, you say Yo, me? that's cold bloody. Like, like, about to just leave me for real? Hey man, I'm trying to win. You trash. Every time we play, we lose. And it ain't because of me. I'm nice. I know you see my 2K rating. Your shit garbage. Yo, I... <laughs> bro, 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 bro. <laughs> that <laughs> Bro, if he's saying it's similar to what they're saying, bro, it's always the white hair motherfuckers that be out here being dirty. I mean, they cool, but dog, when you know, when you see a mother, like, let's be honest, anybody watch an anime, well, no, if you see a motherfucker with white hair, a young dude with white hair, bro, you know that, you know they goaded, you, you know they goaded. Like, no matter what, they will always be goaded. It's just something about them, bro, that just always comes out and just... Like, come on, you you guys know what I mean. Bro, when any time you see a white hair character, it automatically grabs your attention. Anyone who watch anime, it always grabs your attention when you see someone with white hair because they always have some significant importance. It's always some type of significant importance. I'm, I'm just saying, personally. Are you for real right now? I'm dead serious. Serious as a heart attack. You know, like a heart attack, like the one that your mom had. She was on, you know, my 600 pound life. That bitch big as hell, looking like Biscuit Oliver wife and all that. But, 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 but that's besides the point. But real, you be. Damn, why you do that to him like that? As you can see, this man Nagi is not playing. Hey, yo, he don't play. About nothing but winning at this point. Because he dissed his teammate, but it was kind of messed up because this left my man fake Ichi. Hey, I'm okay. F fuck, fuck him. He literally said fake Ichi go. You fucking bitch. I won't lie. I, I forgot what I was going to say. It this dirty bitch. You go and fake Renji in a bad position. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I be forgetting their names, but this man do look like Ichigo, and the other dude do look like Renji. But the only difference between uh, this guy and the real Renji is he's not trash. Cause that man Renji is garbage. I, I, I'm just saying. But they end up teaming up with Rio because they don't have a third teammate. But they're really upset with Isuki because he decided to dish them for Nagi. Somebody that was their enemy before, and I feel him. I mean, how you gonna join him? He don't even rock with you like that. I was with you in the trenches. But I also feel Isuki because that dude nice as hell. I'm just saying. Now, after everybody gets settled in and they realize how these three on threes are gonna work, their first obstacle was in front of them. The top three players in the whole Blue Lot organization. And they on the same team. Damn. It's like they took LeBron James in his prime, Michael Jordan in his prime, and Kobe Bryant in his prime. It was like, all right, just fill out the team a little bit. And throw Shaq on there too. I mean, I'm just saying, that's basically what's going on. But these dudes are savage. Bro, look at the red in this dude's eyes. He look like he about to pounce and kill somebody. That man Isaki focused too though. You see his eyes glowing up, but that is not gonna help you. Oh, oh, never mind, this nigga scored. Editor, I want you to pay close attention to this guy on the right though. The dude in the red jersey that's holding his uh, no. head. What? Dog, this dude, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you can see my cross, my, I, my little pointer. This dude right here, I seen a clip of him on TikTok. Sh shit. For what I saw, this motherfucker is a walking tank. Like, he's a definition of don't let my personality fool you. Okay? I may be nice, but I got that dog in me. And you might be thinking, well, why the fuck would you just do that? You look stupid. But let's be honest here. 
I'm making a goddamn point when I say this dude right here got that dog in him. Is this dude talking to himself? Somebody be on the lookout for him. Maybe get him some medication or something. Cause something's off. Anyways, I can't believe they got scored on that easy. I guess they're not that nice after all. Ooh, never mind. He scored. Bro, what's up with this pretty Levi Ackerman slash Mikasa looking dude? Now tell me that the number one Mikasa. Look like Mikasa with a dike. Cut. I'm to, to be honest, he doesn't look like Mikasa, but he does look like he could be Mikasa's twin. But with a different eye color. That's it. Just saying. Bro was talking heavy to him though. Yeah. Y'all gonna let me score? Oh, y'all done fucked up now. Almost as bad as my barber fucked up this widow's peak on the back of my neck. Y'all should have never, ever let me score. Now we about to smoke, y'all. Man, football is life or death for me, man. This ain't no game. It's real. Man, will you shut the fuck up, Cass? Now, after bro got his score back, disaster struck. I mean, they punished these dudes. First up, we got this glam ass dude. He scored on him with the long limbs. Bro out here looking like a rubber band in a Slim Jim has sex. <laughs> what did he just say? But that should call me off guard. That should come me off guard. The dog, let's be honest, bro. He like every long haired motherfucker who's for some reason impressive at, at damn near every fucking thing, bro. Where you got that one long haired motherfucker that's impressive, just got tier, and all of a sudden they, for some reason, they just get nerfed. Like, they're so good, but some reason the main protagonist got to have some lucky trump card that gives them an advantage somehow. Or the person just nursed themselves just by being like, man, you're not even worth the fight. You know, I'm going to let you win. Like, huh? You guys get what up. You guys will get what I mean. I know. I'm, the way I'm explaining this is kind of strange, but you guys get what I mean. I'm just saying. What's up with him? Got the dirt and the whiskey lips. But also, the dude was so anxious, he convinced himself to be nice. Bro don't even know if he nice or not. He talked himself into being nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm scared right now, bro. I don't know. I'm supposed to be scoring. I'm supposed to be doing something. Ah. Ah. Weave. Weave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I broke his ankle. Shit. Oh, my God. What do I do now? Do I... Oh, wait, why is he running past me like that? Gotta get faster or something. Yo, what the fuck, Shane? Yo, this dude scaring himself to catch up with me. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta score. I gotta score. Go! Yo, Yo pause. pause! Man, I'm not gonna lie. They tried their best against this team. They even tried to triangle offense. They thought they was the 96 Bulls. Man, this man, Bachara, is nice at passing. I'm just saying. But they thought that they were doing this big brain play this whole time, and they fell right into the hands of the number one player. See? This man Isagi, as we all know, has the power to see goals. He smells a goal, and then they accomplish the goal. But the number one player sees this, and after they get their second goal, he sets a trap. This man Eisen's the whole football field. Had them thinking that they were about to win and score again, just to pounce and attack. We got this, y'all. We got this. I'm about to score on these nuts, cuz. Yo, did your trash ass think that you was about to score on me, cuz? Boy, you got two left feet on this field when you going against me. I don't even know why you tried that shit. I am the best dude out here. And you are trash. Garbage. Litter. Trash again. You are the worst fire dude in this show. How you the MC and you got out MC? Ain't no damn sense. Now give me that ball, little dude. And just like that, they score on him and win. And to add insult to injury, they get to take one of their teammates, and y'all won't even believe who they took, bro. They're doing the they white hair. My man, Isaac, boy, oh. Me, I mean, Bachara. Oh, I couldn't even believe that they took Bachara out of here. Nagi and this man, Isaac, standing there like, damn, yo, why they take my man away like that? Look at my man, Isaac, watching this man, Bachara, walk away. You watching all them buns walk away, ain't you? <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie. I just only gonna say one thing and that nigga you are nigga you are this close You are this close for me getting you the gay stamp. What the fuck? what the fuck? I've been mad zesty in this bitch. Pause on that. Man, after this, them two Nigga no, no pause, nigga. The fuck Nigga the fuck you mean pause, nigga? I'm I'm pretty sure this whole entire time you just been acting weird, bro. 
Like, maybe my memory is going crazy because I'm a little bit delusional. But, bro, something is wrong with you. Something clearly is wrong with you. You don't, that you're not going to be out here talking about this man butt cheeks. Like, that's what you into. You're not going to be out here talking about that butt cheeks on my channel, bro. Come on, bro. You got to stop that shit, man. Was talking in they loves. Sitting there talking about how they <laughs> trash. How they didn't have nothing special going for them. But that just ends up with them boosting each other up anyway. All that until the goat walks in. Big borrow. Bro, I'm talking about he was talking spicy to them. Man, bring your little ass in here, man. Hold on it. This smell like bitch in here. Ain't nobody strong in here. Hey, will you shut the fuck up, cuz? What you mean ain't nobody strong in here? Ain't you ranked 10? Man, I'm ranked 7. Stop playing with me, cuz. Man, I don't give a fuck if you rank 10, 7, 1, negative 4. Well, I will beat the shit out you in here, boy. Yo, Carl, calm down. Yo, no, you shut up. First off, don't even talk to me, boy. I will smack the goofy out you. Who told you to talk? My bad, cuz. Damn, yo, why you letting them talk to you boy, like you that? Boy, you shut up, too. Ain't nobody telling you to talk. Both y'all dudes is trash. Hey, cuz, you back the fuck up, cuz. It's gonna get deeper than football in here in a minute, cuz. I'm not finna play with your big ass. You know I got more than these feet on me, boy. I got that strap, too. Man, you ain't got no strap. Nah, too shady, man. But they realize that their next combat is <laughs> yeah, When Akin Hard goes wrong. But I'm going to just call him hi you Because that is trash. I'm just saying. That man Borrow was talking spicy to them off rip. Man, and I tell y'all trash ass dude, you couldn't fuck with me. Hey, Inski. Hey, you trash. You hear me? And you're used to time and space is garbage too, by the way. You ain't got no handles, no shooting. You don't got no hoes. I'm just saying. You know I got hoes. Look at me. Y'all look like I get hoes. You see this physique? You see this body? Man, will you shut the fuck up, cuz? Hey, man, I'm gonna make it a one-on-one -on -one situation. I got this. Don't worry. All right, all I gotta do is do the backwards dribble like this. Move it over here. Look at that dumbass dude. He don't know what's happening. Score! Hey, Aziki, I scored that goal, cuz. It's your turn next. Need you to do something. You kind of trash. But I swear to God, I'm gonna kill these motherfuckers. After this, yo, this man Barrow got the ball stolen. He will not pass the ball, bro, no matter what. That man Hayala, yo, come on, son. Standing over there looking like he wanted an alley. Looking like he needed a pass and assist. Boy, you was not getting nothing past to you. You're trash. That man Hayala, that one ugly dude that go on the missions with you with the shorties, and they get mad when you put the ugly one on him. Like, bro, you know you was only going to get the ugly one anyway. But because of this negligence, my man got the ball stolen from him yet again. And they scored. The score is now 2-1. I ain't gonna lie, these dudes is trash though. Cause they let him get an open shot right after that, bro. And he even the score up just like that. This man Barrow was a monster. I'm just saying. Now the crazy. I don't know about that. He 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 looking kind of trash right now, man. He looking kind of trash, man. So though was the way that how y'all was talking to my man. He was talking to him, spicy. Yo, what up with you, Isaki? You remember me, right? And you know why we keep pinpointing you, right? Why we pick your team? It ain't because of Nagi. <laughs> it's because of you. You're trash. Me and you, average Joes. Like, nothing that we do is special. But like you, well, a little bit more. It's like, I'm trash, but like, you're like super trash. Like, I don't know, like you super saying trash. But I'm going to surpass these geniuses. I'm going to leave your bitch ass behind. Bro, you was not leaving nobody behind. You trash too. Oh my God, this just got past me. And just like that, this man, how y'all was actually trying to do something. I'm not going to lie, bro. He was breaking ankles and all that. Well, I mean, no, hey, yo. Yo, personally, I would not take this kind of level of disrespect. Like me, like me personally, just just, just like keep it on a deep, just, just, just a deep level right now. I would never take this level of disrespect. Mm -mm. Couldn't be me. Ankles, but that ain't saying a lot because you know Isaki kind of trash. But the thing that Isaki is good at is adapting because even though he was getting outplayed, he always finds a way to make the ways he gets outplayed into advantages for him. This episode was about him trying to rely on himself though and not everybody else around him because he was on some like Scotty Pippen type time right now. And this man now he was Michael Jordan. Now I'm not saying Scotty Pippen trash, he was the second best NBA player at that time. But he just kept relying on Michael Jordan, assisting him. And I know sometimes it's okay to do that, 
but not when you want to be the top scorer. When you want to be the number one striker, you got to strike that joint. You got to break yourself apart, and you got to rebuild. And that's what he did. Look at them puzzle pieces falling, young. He basically finds out that his power is he's able to copy other people's powers. He got the idea because this man, how y'all try to steal his move. That was some OP ass shit. But well, it's a, a useful ability. He ends up missing the direct shot because in the end, he thought he had potential, but he didn't. Bro, garbage. All he knows how to do is pass it to borrow and, and then they score. But this man, Isaki, took that same mindset, copy bro's moves, and then scored the final goal on him. Yo, stop playing with my man, Isaki. <laughs> He's growing up right before our eyes. You remember? Bro, what, what did we say about this bit? No, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Yo. Quit with this shit. <laughs> Quit with the baby talk, bro. We some grown ass niggas. Stop with the baby talk, bro. Remember when he was trash like five seconds ago? And now he's just like a little bit less trash, but he's still trash? <laughs> and I love this dude, y'all. The 15 on this jersey stand for how many times I've said trash this video. I'm just saying. I've been saying it a lot, yo, but some of these is garbage. Now, after they end up beating them, they put Borrow on their team. And I'm not going to lie. They got a powerhouse team now. Borrow, Nagi, Isaki, Sheesh. Now, that's the team that got a chance to beat the one, two, and three best players. That joke was sad, though, because after they ended up picking Borrow, the other dude was glazing Isaki, talking about, yo, you're not an average Joe. You're actually good. Wait a minute. Does this man got an autographed juice box? What has he got in his hand? And why is he crying on it? Ew. Nobody want no soggy high C. Now, I want to talk about one more game. But before we get into that, I got to ask a question. How come Rio, fake ass Renji, fake ass Ichigo, how come all of them are in a hot tub together? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, man. Sometimes in order to bond with your teammates, man, you got to, you got to, you got to shower with them. Hang with them. Sometimes you gotta sleep with them. I just playing. Oh. <laughs> I just playing. I just playing. I ain't even gonna keep questioning. Fuck. Bro, so many people gonna think I'm fucking gay. It was a lot of getting punished in the beginning, but it's because this man Borrow would not pass the ball. For some reason, he could not rely on these two other players. And eventually, they had to take things into their own hands. Yo, ball, come on, y'all. I need you to get your shit together, son. I know your hairline all messed up. It's probably messing with your brain waves and all that, but bro. We gotta make this chemical reaction, yo. We gotta make things work. Bro, I don't give a fuck about no chemical reaction. Man, the only chemical here is me. And I'm nitroglycerin. Boy, I'm not playing. I'm about to smoke everybody. Is nitroglycerin even dangerous? Hey, shut up, man. This ain't so <laughs> I need to do everything myself. Bro, trash. fucking I'm fact. Not trash. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait. Nitroglycerin is. Is radioactive. No, it's not radioactive. It's. How, what, what do you call it when it's like. It has like a chemical reaction. I think nitroglycerin does have a chemical reaction when it comes in contact with certain things. So technically, you can't work out something with that. That that kind of makes sense. Hey, don't call me trash, cause that man eats. But not by itself. All right, I'll let you have that. That yeah. man is kind of trash. But me, yo, stop playing with me. Man, get out of my motherfucking face. You donkey! For some reason, that sounds oh. mad racist. <laughs> Wait, yo, what are you about to say? So, yo, did he just call me a slur? Yo, I sound like he called you a slur, cuz. Now, after this, this man Isaki keeps saying over Borrow, but. Damn, bro. Bro, being more offensive than when Shira called Charon a fucking. <sighs> gorilla. Damn. Eventually, he starts evolving during the match and realizes that he needs to play to win. So they start being disrespectful to Borrow and start calling him a donkey. They start going crazy. Him and Naki are Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan for real. I mean, they was hooping on him. I felt bad for fake ass Reggie and fake ass Ichigo, but I ain't feel bad for Rio though, because that man a dick eater. I'm just saying. All that dude do is. All right. Up Nagi, bro. I'm just saying. Let his meat go. Is Dick riding on you niggas, dude? I'm just saying. But saying my man. Shit, he a pro at it. Nagi get the hooping on him like this. Inspire Borrow, which made one of the coolest moments that I've seen in this anime. 
My man Borrow evolving. How you gonna owe me a third evolution is still evolve? This man Digivolution was scary, son. I mean, look how this shit played out. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening to me right now. Like, why are these two trash ass football players better than me? Is this what it means to have a team sport? Am I supposed to rely on them? Maybe I'm supposed to just pass the ball to them. Damn. Never thought I'd pass the ball, especially not to some bitches. Say, you get Fuck it, I guess that's all I can do. Whoa, calm down there, little dude. Yeah, relax. What you doing, man? You about to pass the ball to... Oh, wait, what just happened? The IO just cut out. Wait, was this supposed to cut out? Oh, okay. I think it's a video. Why cut out the music? Maybe does it clean at the end? Really cool. Oh, the audio just completely cut out the end. I guess he was using some type of music and he had to cut it out. Damn. Of course, we just gotta. We just gotta leave it right there. Ayo, with all that being said though, hey, there's not, there's not much I can say, but one thing I'm definitely gonna try to do is watch some Blue Lock. Now the real question is, is it on Crunchyroll? Only one way to find out. With all that being said though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video, okay? Make sure you like the video. If you truly want me to make more videos like these, you have to like it. Comment down in the comment section if you got anything to say about me or the content of Buffalo. Maybe okay, man, you got some suggestions yourself. Like, you know, come on. If you got some suggestions, let your boy know. And make sure you make sure you subscribe, okay? For all the sexy jazz gonna be having on the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>